Java Persistence API. The Java Persistence API is a Java standards-based solution for persistence. Persistence uses an object relational mapping approach to bridge the gap between an object-oriented model and a relational database. Java Persistence consists of three areas. The Java Persistence API, the query language object. Relational mapping metadata. Java naming and directory interface. The Java naming and directory interface JNDI provides naming and directory functionality, enabling applications to access multiple naming and directory services, including existing naming and directory services such as LDAP, NDS, DNS, and NIS. It provides applications with methods for performing standard directory operations, such as associating attributes with objects and searching for objects using their attributes. Using JNDI, a Java EA application can store and retrieve any type of named Java object, allowing Java EA applications to coexist with many legacy applications and systems. Java EA naming services provide application clients, enterprise beans, and web components with access to a JNDI naming environment. A naming environment allows a component to be customized without the need to access or change the component source code. A container implements the component's environment and provides it to the component as a JNDI naming context. A Java EA component can locate its environment naming context using JNDI interfaces. A component can create a JAVAX naming initial context object and looks up the environment naming context in initial context under the name Java comp env. A component's naming environment is stored directly in the environment naming context or in any of its direct or indirect subcontexts. A Java EA component can access named system provided and user defined objects. The names of system provided objects, such as JTA user transaction objects, are stored in the environment naming context, Java. Comp. ENV. The Java EA platform allows the component to name user defined objects, such as enterprise beans, environment entries, JDBC data source objects, and message connections. An object should be named within a subcontext of the naming environment according to the type of the object. For example, enterprise beans are named within the subcontext Java, Comp, ENV, EJB, and JDBC data source references in the subcontext Java, Comp, ENV, JDBC, Java Authentication and Authorization Services. The Java Authentication and Authorization Service GAS provides a way for a Java EA application to authenticate and authorize a specific user or group of users to run it. GAS is a Java programming language version of the standard pluggable authentication module PAM framework, which extends the Java platform security architecture to support user-based authorization simplified systems integration. The Java EA platform is a platform-independent, full systems integration solution that creates an open marketplace in which every vendor can sell to every customer. Such a marketplace encourages vendors to compete, not by trying to lock customers into their technologies but instead by trying to outdo each other in providing products and services that benefit customers, such as better performance, better tools, or better customer support. The Java EA5 APIs enable systems and applications integration through the following. Unified application model across tiers with enterprise beans. Simplified request and response mechanism with JSP pages and servlets reliable security model with JAS. XML-based data interchange integration with JAXP, SA, and JAXWS. Simplified interoperability with a J2E connector architecture. Easy database connectivity with the JDBC API. Enterprise application integration with message-driven beans and JMS, JTA, and JNDI. Sun Java System Application Server Platform Edition 9. The Sun Java System Application Server Platform Edition 9 is a fully compliant implementation of the Java EA5 platform. In addition to supporting all the APIs described in the previous sections, the application server includes a number of Java EA tools that are not part of the Java EA5 platform but are provided as a convenience to the developer.
This section briefly summarizes the tools that make up the application server and instructions for starting and stopping the application server, starting the admin console, and starting and stopping the Java DB database server. Other chapters explain how to use the remaining tools. Tools. The application server contains the tools listed in Table 11. Basic usage information for many of the tools appears throughout the tutorial. For detailed information, see the online help in the GUI tools. Table 11, Application Server Tools Tool Description Admin Console A web-based GUI application server administration utility used to stop the application server and manage users, resources, and applications. Asadmin, a command line application server administration utility used to start and stop the application server and manage users, resources, and applications. As and a portable command line build tool that is an extension of the Ant tool developed by the Apache Software Foundation CHTTP. Ant. Apache. Org. As and contains additional tasks that interact with the application server administration utility. Ant clean a command line tool that launches the application client container and invokes the client application packaged in the application client jar file. Capture Schema a command line tool to extract schema information from a database, producing a schema file that the application server can use for container managed persistence. Package Ape Clean a command line tool to package the application client container libraries and jar files. Java DB Database A copy of the Java DB Database server. Verify a command line tool to validate Java EA deployment descriptors. XJC a command line tool to transform, or bind, a source XML schema to a set of JAXP content classes in the Java programming language. Shimajima command line tool to create a schema file for each namespace referenced in your Java classes. See port a command line tool to generate JAX WS portable artifacts for a given WSDL file. After generation, these artifacts can be packaged in a WAR file with the WSDL and schema documents along with the endpoint implementation and then deployed. WSG and a command line tool to read a web service endpoint class and generate all the required JAX WS portable artifacts for web service deployment and invocation.